Today on Factspace, we're looking at the craziest things happening in nature. Earth is a beautiful place, and when you look past the constant stream of politics cluttering news feeds, it becomes a lot easier to see how amazing the world we live in truly is. From millions of different life forms sharing the planet with us, to the seemingly impossible events that take place all on their own in nature, there are crazy and mesmerizing things happening all around the globe. And today, we're looking at just a handful of these unique occurrences. Pyura Chilensis When Patrick Starr somehow got his pet rock to win a snail racing competition in the Nickelodeon show SpongeBob SquarePants, it all felt like a bunch of ridiculousness. What you may not know, though, is that there's actually a creature that looks just like a living rock. The Pyura Chilensis is an animal that can often be found coastally in certain parts of the world. It's able to blend in with rocks and seashells due to its rough, gray and red outer coat. When flipped over, the actual creature is reddish in color, and has a mouth that sucks up particles around it as its primary food source. Next time you're at the beach, you may wonder if that rock you just walked past really is a rock after all. Speaking of being near to the ocean, did you know that there's a place in Brazil where a special wave allows surfers to ride it for hundreds of miles? The never-ending wave is known formally as Pororoca, which means Great Roar, translated from Brazilian natives, the Tupi people. Twice annually, specifically during a full or new moon, the tides of the oceans are at their peak, and instead of the traditional flow of water, the Atlantic Ocean's currents converge and the water in the Amazon River flows in reverse. Because of the power behind these bodies of water, they create a massive wave that travels up to 13 feet high, 4 meters, and at a maximum of almost 500 miles, or 800 kilometers. The massive wave is a hotspot for surfers and surfing competitions, however, Pororoca can be incredibly dangerous. Land debris is often found throughout the water, such as tree trunks, limbs, and rocks that are lifted into the current when the water flow changes. Like the never-ending wave is a surfer's dream, our next crazy place is a paradise for divers. Located in Lighthouse Reef in Belize, to the eye, the Great Blue Hole is exactly what its name describes, a large and dark hole in the ocean surrounded by small strips of land. The hole was formed over thousands of years throughout the most current ice age. However, when sea levels that had been previously low rose again, water filled up in the cave that had formed, creating a crater that is 407 feet deep. The location is a promising spot for recreational diving and tourism, specifically after Jacques Cousteau, a former officer in the French Navy, ocean explorer, and inventor, among many other things, concluded that it was one of the top places for diving. If you're not interested in meeting all the aquatic wildlife in Belize, though, a volcanic spot in Indonesia produces red-hot flames that don't quite match their traditional color. And here's why. Java is an island located in Indonesia that is home to several active volcanoes and a circular, acidic lake where one of the world's most dangerous sulfur mines exists. If that isn't interesting enough, the volcanoes here aren't like most. When they go off, an electric blue glow accompanies the lava that sprays into the air and cascades down the mountainsides. Because of the higher than normal level of sulfur produced within the lava, the temperature and pressure are heightened and explode into the air in extraordinary shades of bright blue. This phenomenal occurrence only happens at night and is almost as beautiful as the stormy skies of Venezuela. If you're interested in traveling to Lake Maracaibo, you'll be impressed by the vivid and frequent lightning storms that light up the skies. By frequent, that means the storms rage for over 200 days out of the year and nearly half of a 24-hour span for each day. Nature is a very temperamental thing, though, and the storming weather has surprised the world in some cases where it has disappeared for months, only to come back in full swing. Called Catatumbo Lightning, since it occurs between Lake Maracaibo and the Catatumbo River, the intense weather is an all-natural light display that sparks with incredible power and beauty. Although the electrifying artistry is stunning, there are some phenomena that are on the creepier side of things, such as our next crazy thing happening in nature. When you hear of things turning to stone, you probably envision the mythological monster Medusa, with her head of snakes calcifying anything that meets their terrifying stare. Located in Tanzania, Lake Natron is a shallow body of water filled with sodium carbonate decahydrate, also known as natron, and sodium sesquicarbonate dehydrate, called trona. Because of these high concentrations creating so much alkaline, animals that have entered the water seem to have come back out as if they'd seen Medusa at the bottom of the lake. A photographer named Nick Brandt came across their stony bodies while exploring the land and decided to showcase them in a book entitled Across the Ravaged Land. Although the entire bodies of the animals may not be calcified all the way through, 
The exterior of their carcasses have been preserved by the mixture of substances in the lake. One of the most notable images is of a swallow bird that Brant's positioned atop a rock, with its scarily stony body just one of many photographed. Even creepier than animals turned to stone, spider webs may just take the cake for our final natural occurrence. Although many parts of the world today would benefit from a week's worth of rain, in 2010, Pakistan did have rain for a week, but the storms were so violent that they completely destroyed many towns and cities. Although many things were expected in the aftermath, such as the need to restore the impacted buildings, help the people who were affected, and clean up damaged goods, there was something that stood out after this specific disaster. Because the water flooded Pakistan for longer than is usual after storms, it similarly affected surrounding wildlife, including all sorts of different insects and arachnids. The terrifying result of this was shared via images of trees completely wrapped in webs. The cocooned vegetation inspired feelings of fear throughout the world, but it actually might have helped keep insect-related diseases to a minimum during this rough time. This phenomenal and creepy experience happened again in 2012 when Australia witnessed large floods, with their own photos disturbing the public as the web trees were covered in terrifyingly large spiders to accompany their new nests. If you're new here or haven't subscribed already, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell so you don't miss anything from Factspace.